We turn now to the latest on the death of a child at a daycare in the Bronx. Three other kids sent to the hospital, all for exposure to fentanyl. We have just learned the owner of the daycare and her husband's cousin are now facing federal drug charges. Police are still looking for the husband, who they say was seen on video carrying bags out of the daycare before police arrived. And we have also learned that when the daycare owner found those kids unresponsive, 911 was not the first phone call she made. Here's Eyewitness News reporter Janice Yu. In those critical moments, detectives say the owner of this daycare didn't call 911 right away. Instead, she called her husband as well as other people first. And today, detectives are still trying to figure out where that husband is. What are we doing as a society to our children? Toddlers played, ate, and slept inside the Divino Nino daycare Friday, while around them, a powerful substance under their mats and hidden around the apartment-based daycare and equipment used to produce drugs. They dropped the babies off to a daycare center, hoping that their children will be protected by the caregivers. Three toddlers were found unresponsive after being exposed to what detectives say was fentanyl. And in the critical moments after the discovery, authorities say Gray Mendez, the owner of the daycare, called her husband and several others before 911. And caught on video shortly after, Mendez's husband and several others carrying bags of unknown items out of the apartment. Mendez and a man who was renting a room were both charged with murder, among other crimes. It's a nightmare that these families will never wake up from. Unimaginable pain for the family of one-year-old Nicholas, who died at the hospital. Two other toddlers remain hospitalized, but some encouraging news. Aziel is now home. He was picked up from the daycare early on Friday and taken to the hospital by his mother when she noticed something was wrong. That quick thinking and a dose of Narcan are what saved his life. Detectives say it's not clear right now if this daycare was just a front for the alleged drug activity, but authorities do point out that the man who was arrested came to the U.S. from the Dominican Republic around the same time that this daycare opened.